Okay, here's what's for dinner. The weather's starting to cool down a little bit. Of course, I'm in Southern California where the weather is so beautiful, but we actually, it was a little, little chilly this morning, but I've been craving some broccoli cheese soup. So here's a lighter version of it. I'm also going to add chicken, which I didn't put on the little thing here, because if you don't want chicken, you don't have to add it. It's only zero points uh, if you're on uh, WW Blue Points. And um, so I'm adding chicken, add a little more flavor and a little more protein. So here's what we're, uh, we're going to have in the recipe, then I'll break it all down. Four cups of broccoli, and then we're going to include uh, one cup of the almond milk. Then uh, for thickening and extra flavor, this little container on here is instant mashed potatoes. So we're going to do a half a cup of instant mashed potatoes. And then uh, we need around four cups of chicken broth. And then two tablespoons of garlic one chopped onion, and then two cans of the Healthy Choice, um, the Healthy Choice Requests Condensed Cheddar Cheese Soup. And then also, we're going to add 12 tablespoons of the fat-free shredded mozzarella. Also, I'm gonna throw in a cup of uh, Greek yogurt for extra protein and extra creaminess. So here we go, and salt and pepper to taste. And follow along, I'm actually gonna make it to start off in my Instant Pot that will turn into a crock pot because I want it to stay warm for a few hours. You can cook this on the stove. You can make it in like mm, half hour, 45 minutes, or you can cook it in your Instant Pot and then keep it warm, or you could put it in a crock pot and just do it like a crock pot recipe. But here we go using my Instant Pot. Okay, so let's get started. I've got my Instant Pot already turned on. I put it on the saute. Oh, my doggy, I'm sorry. I put it on saute. Uh, that gets it really nice and hot. So you can, um, you know, like saute your onions or your chicken. So what I'm gonna do, since I am adding chicken, I've got two cups of, uh, of the grilled ready, oven diced chicken, chicken breast. This just makes it quick and easy. You can use regular chicken breast but I always like stuff I can grab real quick and sometimes I use real chicken breast, sometimes I use this. And I had this on hand, so I'm using it. Two cups, it's gonna go right in my Instant Pot along with one cup of chopped onions. And I'm gonna add two tablespoons of minced garlic. I buy the minced garlic already you know, minced up so much easier. Just gotta make sure you seal it real good or your whole oven's gonna, I mean, refrigerator's gonna smell like garlic. Uh, before I put the chicken in, I forgot to tell you, we have two cans of the chicken broth. I put one can in first. So there's something to cook uh, the chicken and the onions and stuff together with. So that's what it's cooking uh, with right now. I'm gonna cook this and, until it, the chicken's already pre-cooked, so that's already good. So I'm gonna finish sauteing this probably for a couple minutes until the onions soften, and then I'm gonna go on to the next step, and then I'll show you what we do next. Okay, everything's been cooking down for like a couple minutes. The chicken um, with some garlic, along with a cup of onions. I'm gonna add some salt and pepper to taste. I'll probably add more later. That's why I like a lot of good seasoning. Not too much salt, maybe a lot of pepper. Okay, the next things that we're gonna add is the Healthy Choice uh, chicken, it's called Healthy Choice Cheddar Cheese. I'm gonna put two cans of this in it. So good. Hard to believe that uh, you can have stuff like this and still lose weight or maintain your weight like I am right now after losing almost 80 pounds, around 80 pounds. Some days it's 80, some days it's 78, other days it's 81, but I'm, I'm staying right there. I'm around two pounds under my goal. Very healthy, no more blood pressure medicine after 15 years. So I feel better than I have in 20 years or 30 years. I, don't, I can't even recall. Okay, so I've got two cans of this. I may add, if I need more water, I'm gonna set these aside because I'll put some water in the cans to get the rest of that cheese out into there. Now I'm gonna add the other can of the chicken broth. And then we're going to add 
one cup of the vanilla unspre unsweetened, I'm sorry, unsweetened almond milk. I think this said, might have been vanilla, I don't know, but it still tastes good. Okay, I'm gonna put one cup into there. And then I add three, around three quarters of a cup or a cup of yogurt. I actually had three quarters of a cup left in this one container, so that's what I'm putting in here right now, just to add some creaminess to it and some extra protein, doesn't hurt. Very good. I'll put those all down. And then after that, we're going to add, let's see if I, I can get my little notes I wrote out. Um, <clears throat> I'm going to add the broccoli and I'm going to cook. Well, I'm going to stir this all together first. And I'm going to wait, wait till it comes to a boil. And then when it comes to a boil, I'll go to the next uh, step. Okay, everything has came to a nice boil. Um, I like a little bit more of a chicken flavor, and when I tasted it, it wasn't quite chickeny. Chickeny, I don't know if that's a word. I need a little more chicken flavor to this uh, than just the stock. And I have these little Nors um, home style stocks. I found them in my cupboard. Whenever I see stuff, I pick things up, and I haven't used them before. So I took out one of the little containers, and I put put it in with the hot, while this was boiling, in with the, the hot soup mixture. There's four teaspoons in there. This whole thing is one point. When I added it to the recipe, it didn't change the points. Points are still three Weight Watcher Blue points per serving. And it gives it a little more chicken flavor. Make it better. Okay, now that it's boiling, we want to add the half a cup of instant mashed potatoes very carefully and stir it in while you're pouring it in and it's, boy, it's thickening up already. This will thicken up and of course the potatoes add the extra flavor like if you would chop up potatoes or something in it, which would be a lot more points. Now we want to let this boil and stir it for like one minute and then we're going to add the broccoli. Okay, the potatoes have been added. It's all boiling. It's been boiling for like a minute and I stirred it. Well, almost all the time just to make sure it's not going to stick because it's really boiling good. Now we're going to add four cups of broccoli and I just take the little broccoli heads. I cut off the end, the big thick stems on the end. My husband likes them but I don't. I think they're a little too chewy. So I just want the little florets and then I just take my fingers and I'll break them apart. But you don't want to break them apart too much because they're going to cook down. So now we add this to the soup and it says to let it cook for two minutes and then it's done. So if you're cooking this on the stove, in two more minutes, it's done. The only reason I'm doing it on this, for one thing, it's convenient and the little, this thing is hotter than my little uh, portable um, thing I have, a uh, cooking plate. Um, anyway, I we're not quite hungry yet for dinner. And so after this cooks, I'm gonna put a lid on this and I'm gonna put it on warm so it'll stay warm on the, on the uh, slow cooker setting. And then when we're ready to eat tonight, all we have to do is spoon it up, three points per serving. After you spoon it up, mozzarella, this is the fat-free craft mozzarella. You're gonna put two tablespoons on top of uh, your serving, and this is included in with the points. Uh, the points on this, no, it's very low. It's kind of hard to find, but for 12 tablespoons is only one point. So, um, Anyway, you're going to put that on the top as an extra cheesiness uh, when you're finished. And it's been two minutes, I think, so I'm going to go ahead. It may not be two minutes, but it's close by the time I serve this out. Okay, it's all finished, and it tastes so good. Oh my gosh, I had to change the points, though, on this because... Uh, let me see if I get this little thing. Um, once I was finished, I thought, gosh, that looks like it would be more than six servings. So I spooned it all out and measured it, and it's actually... 10 cups in here, so depending upon how much you want. So the 10 cups is only two points per cup. So if you wanted two cups, you know, then you can, it'll only be like four, from what I can tell, I'm not sure. But it's two points per cup, that's two Weight Watchers blue points, or WWW blue points per cup. And just so you can see, I have these little clear cups here, so you can see it, but I'm gonna spoon out one cup, and this has chunks of chicken in it, chunks of broccoli and the cheese. Oh my goodness, it really tastes good. Okay, so this is one cup. I'm gonna pour it in here. Gives you a 
nice cup there. We're going to put a couple tablespoons, it says, of the fat-free mozzarella on top. This is included in the two points, so go for it. And this is, it's really hard to try to show you because I have a set camera, but it looks so good and it actually tastes so good. Now what I'm going to do is just, I'm going to put the lid on this and keep it on warm um, on my slow cook option on my Instant Pot. That's why they call this an Instant Pot. It's just not, it's not just a pressure cooker. You can also use it for slow cooking and all kinds of stuff. You can make some best boiled eggs where the eggs just, you know, when you go to crack them, they just slide right off. Uh, so many things. This is one of the best things I ever bought. I use it the most, I think, that one in my Instant Pot air fryer, but probably this one the most. Um, anyway, so that's what's for dinner, and I hope you enjoy it. If you do, share my channel with others, and um, let me know what you think of it if you get a chance. If not, it would be wonderful if you could share it with others. I'd love to help as many people as I can to stay healthy, to get uh, to their goals, their weight loss goals, and to maintain their weight loss goals. So you have a wonderful and a very blessed day, and I'll see you on the next video that I hopefully will either do tomorrow, if not in the middle of next week. Good night.